If you're in the process of building a Vario bicycle camper, or if you intend to build one in the future, or if you're just plain curious, then this video will be for you. The purpose of this video is to show you the small improvements that I've made this year to make life a little easier. This year I made three small changes and I discovered a simple trick to help guide the hood in place when I place it onto its tracks. With the new changes, the hood falls onto its tracks every time. Because the sides of the hood were very flexible, it was difficult to align them with the tracks. Here you can see that the edges of the sides of the hood got damaged by the sharp edges of the U-shaped tracks. So I installed a stiffener near the bottom of the left side of the hood using a length of 3 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch aluminum angle. And what better way to accomplish this than with my trusty old duct tape. This is what it looks like. Originally, I had made a track on each side out of lengths of extruded U-shaped aluminum. I bent one side out as best as I could to make the top wider. It had to be wide at the top and narrow at the bottom, but it didn't work well, and it was very difficult to align the edges of the hood when I lowered it onto the tracks. And sometimes the edges of the hood would scrape the sharp edge of the track, causing fraying of the coroplast. So I made new tracks differently. The material for this consists of 3 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch angle aluminum bent to 50 degrees. This allows a wider surface for the edge of the hood to rest on, and because of the slope, the edges of the hood slide down against the walls of the camper by gravity. There's one on each side. I also made them 48 inches long instead of 24 inches. This has the advantage of holding the edges of the hood closer to the walls, making a better seal against black flies and mosquitoes. At the end of the video, I'll show you how I bent the angle aluminum from 90 degrees to 50 degrees with a regular vise without causing it to become misshapen. When I first designed the vestibule, I thought the zipper had to stop at the bottom of the hood. That meant I had to crawl on all fours to enter and exit. It was only after having installed the vestibule for the first time that I realized my mistake. So this year, my dear wife replaced the partial zipper with a full length one. Here I'm attaching the top part of the vestibule to the side of the hood. And here I'm attaching the bottom part of the vestibule to the front part of the trailer using one inch wide Velcro.
And now I'm freeing the rain flap. The rain flap may not be necessary, but it was easy to add one while the sewing machine was in use. Until the hood is up and in place, the walls tend to lean inward. So I discovered a very simple way to spread them apart to the correct distance from one another. It's just a matter of installing the bottom shelf in its place. So now, when I lower the hood, it slides precisely onto the support tracks. First I'll start with drilling the holes. I'm using a 964th uh, drill bit and I'm placing the hole near the, what will be the top of the railing, so near the outside edge. Now I'm going to make a, a bevel in order for the head of the screw to uh, sit in. Using a quarter inch drill bit for that. There we are. So first I'm going to place some marks on the outside of the angle and I'm going to place the marks at a distance a little less than the width of the jaws of the uh, Now the trick I found is to prevent it from becoming all crooked is to be very patient and go a little bit at a time. So I'm going to squeeze a bit. I move it over, squeeze a bit, move it over. So I do that along the whole length. So I squeeze evenly on every section like this. It takes a little time, but um, it's worth the effort. And, uh, it makes a, a pretty nice angle. Okay. So on the next pass, we're going to squeeze a little more. So I, I always return the handle to the same position. So I'm going to about here. So I'm going to push it forward go to the same distance each time. Now what you might want to do is to draw a 50 degree angle on a piece of paper and uh, check your, your angle once in a while. Once you, once you get close to 50 degrees, check it out and uh, see if you need to squeeze a little more. But it's very difficult to spread it out if you squeeze too much. So, 
keep on going until you have 50 degrees. All the changes I've made here are included in the new set of plans which I can send to any Barrio Bicycle Camper Builder upon request. Good luck with the construction of your camper. As always, you can reach me by email and you can find the address on my website. Thanks for watching. Don't forget that if you want more information about electric bicycles or bicycle campers, or if you like to read exciting sailing stories, or if you're thinking of taking up sailing, you can find information about these subjects on my website, www.robertberio.com. And never quit cycling!